Hey guys, Kevin here. Uh, just wanted to show you the uh, status of the chicken coop, some of the uh, subterranean uh, fixtures or, or plumbing that, that we've got down below. First, let me just show you. So here we are on the east side of the chicken coop and we have our data cable. Right here that's our data and that's our power cable coming in and uh, currently backfilling the uh, coop area and the storage area with a screened stone and uh, this is not washed stone this is screened stone on top of this stone we'll put a little bit of bank run gravel uh, gravel that just comes out of the, the off the banks in an excavation uh, area and that way I'll be able to tamp this down. But I wanted to show you over here going between the this side the chicken coop and this side the greenhouse and this is the thermal mass one of the large thermal mass stone areas. Down here I got it plumbed to take uh, heat ultimately from the greenhouse roof come down through a dehydration unit built within the storage unit of the chicken coop and that heat will be uh, take it will be a top-down system so the heat off the roof will go, to go into the top of the solar dehydrator and that heat will go down through the floor of the dehydrator in the, the chicken coop storage area and then get redistributed during the winter months down into the uh, thermal mass unit of the greenhouse uh, the other thing that will happen during the summer months is there will be another return stack that goes back up that will be painted black that will, uh, during the summer months when we take that heat, we'll take that heat and uh, put it back up out into the atmosphere when we don't need that heat. Again, that way we'll be able to run the, the uh, dehydrator from the excess heat from the greenhouse during the daytime. And uh, so there's two two stacks that go down from the dehydrator go one goes to the east side of the uh, thermal mass unit of the greenhouse and one is going to go to, to the west side those two lines on the floor of, of this section that are coming through penetrations of the ground are the geothermal loops that go over and that are in pond uh, five and this other pipe that comes up inside of the coop itself is our water supply off our well system. And uh, these are five foot high walls. I've uh, removed some of the uh, insulation uh, uh, so that uh, just where the concrete is going to meet the wall there won't be any insulation exposed because uh, chickens do like that insulation. But I just wanted to show you, so this is some of the rocks that we picked out of the yard underneath this whole area. And these are some of the uh, non-washed uh, stones that have been screened uh, at the uh, uh, gravel yard. Uh, this same material will cover the uh, first 10 inches within the thermal mass units, all four uh, thermal mass units in the north and south greenhouse areas here and uh, then on top of that there'll be washed stone so that the air flows more easily through the areas but I'll try and take some images along the way so that you could see as we go hey guys Kevin here uh, we're doing a little bit of backfilling of one of the thermal mass units uh, in the southern greenhouse and I'll show you what this looks like so I've got a couple of floor drains in this 38 foot long uh, by about 12 foot wide area. And each one of these two inch PVC pipes that you see coming up is going to be for the self watering uh, component of this area. So there'll be six different raised beds that are going to be like rain gutter uh, gardens. Uh, so the rain gutter gardens will probably be about uh, four feet wide with two foot walk space in between each one. So we'll end up seeing how well that works. 
So we've got about five foot of washed stone in here. I still have to dress it out a little bit. It's not completely ready yet. And this, these pipes will be buried and then concrete floor will go right over that section. Remember, this is where the area where the water totes go, the 275 gallon water totes. And this will be brought up like the other. We got just the base coat of wash stone down in here right now. And there's uh, drain ports that'll be going out similar to the ones that are completely buried here on this side. And John's using the excavator right now, walking down here to uh, cover up some of the four inch drain conduit that I've got here. It's John Gilbert there. He's the guy who works with me, does all the excavating here. He and his dad, Luke, uh, did a lot, just about all the, the uh, hardscape work around here on the property. be shooting the level of with the transit where the drain pipe will extend to to the floor level and uh, on this side you can see that the uh, those two pipes here are the ones that are coming down to supply heat into the thermal mass from the peak, uh, peak of the uh, greenhouse and going through a solar dehydrator and again this is another water toad area and over here, this, this system here, as you can see, it's an insulated floor, three and a half inches of insulation. And uh, those are two, those two pipes down right there on the floor. Uh, you can only, I don't know if you can see both of them there, but there's actually two pipes right there, and they're the uh, geothermal cooling loops that go out into the pond that'll go into the water totes here. And that's one of the, uh, the exhausts that come out of the solar dehydrator that comes out of the peak of the greenhouse that'll help to uh, throw heat into the, uh, into the thermal mass unit on each side here. So that's it so far. As you can see, we've got the stone up quite a ways over there in the chicken coop area. And, uh, we will be progressing as time goes on. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm here at the greenhouse, and uh, I'm on the, the most uh, northwest corner of the greenhouse. It's uh, almost 70 feet, wide, 70 feet long and 32 feet wide, and we're filling in the thermal mass units, and they're about five foot deep a four and a half foot deep of uh, washed stone for the thermal mass and I've got the floor drain as you can see here that side's got a little bit more and over there still have to finish finish the grading off but I'm putting uh, one more plumbing line through so these are the this is the more tropical area the warmer part of the greenhouse during the winter months uh, here's a couple of those geothermal loops coming up the water supply coming up, that's actually coming up in the ch chicken coop. Those uh, pipes going down into the thermal mass units are coming down through the solar dehydrator, which will come down from the, see the wind shows with all this. <clears throat> well, the heat that rises to the peak of the uh, greenhouse will uh, be taken down through the dehydrator and then the excess heat will go down through the, into the floor to heat the, uh, the rock beds of the thermal mass unit. And if this sounds terrible, sorry about that. Uh, using cement blocks down here where we have the penetrations going between, these are four inch PVC lines that are going through these ICFC insulated concrete forms. It's an eight inch, eight inches of insulation of uh, concrete with reinforced rebar, with two and a half inches of styrofoam, with plastic uh, reinforcement as well as the, uh, the rebar that's in there. And down here, 
may be able to see there's the four inch PVC going into a cement block which allows the uh, uh, more airflow through into the mass uh, thermal mass and here's I'm installing one of the uh, self-watering systems there's going to be six raised beds in this section of the greenhouse two floor drains and there'll be two foot paths in between each of these raised beds and on that side I've got some of the stone already covering up the, uh, the water supply. Uh, this way we won't have to water the uh, raised beds uh, and this side will be the uh, during the winter months the uh, the greens crop crops uh, those that don't require as much uh, thermal regulation uh, don't don't require the higher temperatures. The drains for the floor come out and penetrate through the wall and they'll go on out and feed into this pond. This is a pond that I've had uh, leaking problems with in the past. And uh, the perimeter drain actually comes out and is dumps into the, uh, to feed this system. And this system dumps into a swale and feeds two additional ponds plus the, the food forest area. Uh, so we're trying to capture the nutrients from pond one <laughs> and uh, bring them down through various garden systems throughout the property here and uh, and then uh, going from pond to canal to swale to pond to uh, terraced uh, beds to another pond then going through a canal two canal systems connecting two more ponds and then going into a swale and connecting the other ponds and going through another garden area and hopefully what I'll do is take the water from the uh, pond 7 and pump it all the way back up to pond 1. So this is where we're at so far just showing the filling of the thermal mass units on the side and again the central four foot areas these will house the 275 gallon uh, water totes so the I think 18 are going to fit into these two greenhouse sections and then there would be a deck floor that goes across this and a concrete floor that goes on top of the stone as well. But trying to show this so because once the concrete's there, it looks just like any other greenhouse. It's hard to tell what's actually going on. So I'll sign off now since the winds are picking up and it's hard to hear.